Hi, I'm Sins of the 2018 Agro TLX. The feature I'm going to go over with you today is how to put in destinations using voice commands with Android Auto. So with Android Auto you have the option of Maps and Waze and I'll go over both. To select between Maps and Waze what you want to do is you toggle the dial down. In the bottom left you notice a little highlight and you have that little bot top down arrow. You select on that and it will give you an option for Waze or Maps. From using the two systems, I personally believe Maps is a little easier to use, um, but on my phone I use Waze a lot, so I am still a little more biased towards Waze. So you can select whichever you want. I'll go with Waze first. Uh, once it's selected, you notice similar to your phone, it pops up on the top screen. If you're on, even if you're on a different screen, when you're using Waze commands, you use the talk button that's on the steering wheel on the left side. You don't want to press it and let go, because if you do that, then it will the default to the car system, which is a whole different um, process. So if you want to use Waze, you actually press and you hold that. You'll get a, a bar on the top letting you know it's listening. And after the beep, you just say, get me directions to, take me to, navigate to. Pretty much what you prefer. And the car is uh, smart enough to know what you're trying to do. So if I were to do that hold down the button on the steering wheel get me directions to the Oracle Arena you notice when I held it down it popped up Waze on top and it started listening so this is where Waze and Maps um, are a little different because if I wanted to go there I can't use Waze commands anymore so if I wanted to go there I'd have to do it manually because you'll notice if I were to do the same thing go you notice she wouldn't be able to help me on that so the only way you can do it is when I had given the option you notice that was blue so you just hit enter on it it'll say you know it'll give you the address and you want to scroll the dial to the right and you'll start noticing the little bit of blue highlighted on the go now and you enter and it sets the destination from this point on it's similar to our phone it's just you notice you have to do a few manual things and it's not all voice command oriented if I want to cancel the route same thing I'd have to use uh, the dial because if I were to say stop navigation using voice commands, stop navigation. You notice she'll look on the internet and give you the proper answer, but she won't be able to stop the navigation. And right now it's probably not working because uh, I'm on the phone right now recording the video. So if I did want to cancel it, uh, like I said, you turn the dial to the right and notice it highlights you select it and then you gotta scroll to the right and go to stop navigation and it'll stop it so I know it's a little bit more manual oriented like I was saying um, but with the maps it's a little different so you'll see if I want to get to maps I toggle down highlights on the bottom left you select it and you can go to Google Maps so this one, you know, is same thing, hold it down, give the command. Uh, same way you can say the it, a few different ways, it'll still find the right thing for you. So I'm going to do Oracle Arena again. Take me to the Oracle Arena. Notice it just starts calculating and it's taking you there. So you bypass at least two steps. So it makes it a little easier. Once you start driving, you notice it will zoom in on your location. If I want to cancel the route, I don't have to do it manually on this one. I can actually just press down the talk button and say, stop navigation. And it'll stop navigation why they did it this way on maps and not on ways I'm not quite sure this is just the way Android programmed the system it's not from Acura's side 
Um, but if you have further questions, if I miss something, let me know. Other than that, have a great day.